Heavenly Father, I thank you, Father God, for this wonderful opportunity to come boldly to your throne of grace and mercy, O oh God. Father, we come to worship you in spirit and in truth. Lord, we love you. We adore you, Father God. You are our everything. You are the lifter up of our heads. Father, you are our joy. You are our strength. You are our peace. You are our victory. Father, I thank you for giving us life. Thank you for the air that we have to breathe. Thank you for our breath, oh God. Father, right now I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I cover my husband, our children, our possessions with the blood of Jesus. Father, I cover our relatives with the blood of Jesus. I cover our neighbors with the blood of Jesus. I cover my co-workers. I cover our co-workers with the blood of Jesus. Father, right now we ask for your warrior angels, your ministering angels to be released in the name of Jesus. Father, right now we come into agreement with your word that you're giving us a beautiful crown for our ashes. You're giving us a beautiful crown for our ashes, Lord. Father, I thank you that you're giving us beauty for ashes. I thank you, oh God. I thank you for the exchange that's taking place right now. I thank you for the beautiful exchange. I thank you for the miraculous exchange. I thank you for the miraculous exchange that's taking place right now. Father, we give you the ashes of our pain and we receive beauty, oh God. We give you the ashes of our fears, of our brokenness, and we receive a beautiful crown in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you everything. Father God, we give you the ashes of sorrow and we receive the oil of gladness. We give you the ashes of infirmity, sickness, disease. And Father, we receive beautiful healing. Father, right now we give you the ashes of infirmity, sickness, and disease. And we receive the beautiful crown of healing right now in the name of Jesus. We give you the ashes of destruction. And Father God, we receive the beautiful crown of life through the blood of Jesus. Father, for anybody who's having a blood issue, I pray, Father God, that you begin to heal the blood issues, Father, specifically in the marriages. We're asking, oh God, that you release the bomb in Gilead. His name is Jesus. And that you would dry up every blood issue, Father. Father, anybody that's bleeding out, Father, I ask, oh God, that you release your healing in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Father God, heal the marriages that are bleeding out love. Heal them now and pour back the love in the marriages. Father, any marriage that's bleeding out joy and peace and faithfulness, heal them now, Father God. Heal them now. Father, restore the years the palm of worms ate up in their lives. Anybody that's bleeding out truth, Heal them now, Father God, and pour truth back into the husbands and the wives. Any husband, any wife that's bleeding out wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, begin to perform spiritual surgery on them, Father, and pour the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding back into them, Lord. We touch the hem of the garment of Jesus, and our blood issues are dried up and we are restored. We are restored. We are renewed. Father, paralyze the enemies of our marriages. Anything or anyone that's coming against us, Father, paralyze them now. Paralyze the wickedness, Father. Paralyze every demon. Paralyze the adultery. Paralyze the lust. Paralyze the fear. Paralyze the confusion, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, O oh God, that you are repairing the marriages now. I thank you, O oh God, that you are delivering husbands and wives now. You're saving them and their children. You're turning the lights on back in their soul. Your word has reached their souls, their spirits, and their DNA, Father. Your word has reached their soul, their spirit. Father, I thank you that your word has reached their DNA and that they are strong in you, filled up with your power. Father, I thank you that they are whole. Power has been released right now upon every couple and you are doing a new thing, Father God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. Father, I praise your holy name. You're giving them beauty for ashes. 
Hallelujah. Father, you're giving them beauty for ashes. You have placed the crown of beauty upon the husbands and the wives and their children. And they are rejoicing right now. They have the oil of gladness and they are rejoicing right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, love has been poured back into these marriages for your glory in the name of Jesus. Father, I release your word right now and your word will not return back unto you void, but it will be accomplished. Father, I release 1 Corinthians 13 over these couples, Father God. Father, you said love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. And so, Father God, I thank you. You said love never fails. Father, you are love. And I thank you that every couple that's listening to this is receiving divine love. I thank you that hatred has been burnt to ashes, oh God. Father, I thank you that hatred, bitterness, unforgiveness, waywardness, sinfulness, they're burnt to ashes, Father God. They're burnt to ashes, but Lord, I thank you. Father, I thank you that you have opened up the floodgates of heaven and you are raining down love upon these couples. They are patient. I decree and declare that they are patient. They are kind. Father, I thank you that they are humble. They honor you and each other. They love you and each other. I thank you that husbands and wives are selfless. Father, I thank you that they're peaceful. They walk in forgiveness. They rejoice with the truth. The belt of truth is buckled around their DNA and they rejoice with the truth. Father, Jesus Christ is the truth. Father, I thank you that husbands and wives are protecting each other trust in each other they are hopeful in you father and they're hopeful about their union they persevere like the persistent widow they pray for each other and they do what's right concerning one another lord i thank you that their love will never fail that their marriages will not fail father god because without fail they have recovered it all in the name of jesus love is holding them together love is the supernatural divine glue that's holding them together father i thank you for pouring love into the hearts of husbands and wives i decree and declare that they are rooted and grounded in your love for your glory lord in the name of jesus i thank you father god that they receive a beautiful crown of love for their ashes they have received love, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Like Nehemiah, they rebuild their families. And anything that's coming against them is defeated, is defeated, is defeated in the name of Jesus. Father God, I thank you that those you have joined together in love, nobody can separate. Those you have joined together in marriage, a love in marriage, nobody will be able to separate. The two shall become one flesh. What you have joined together, let nobody put asunder. And so, Father God, drive away the wickedness. Drive away the wicked from this marriage. Scatter the wickedness into the abyss, Father God. Scatter them into the abyss. Remove anything that's causing pain in these marriages, Father God. Do it for your glory. Beautiful crown for their ashes. I thank you that husbands and wives are resting and trusting in you, Father God. They cast their cares upon you because you care about them. And you are their Yahweh Rapha. You are their healer. And you're restoring the years the palmer worms ate up in their lives. Their blood issue has been dried up. Their blood issue has been dried up. Whatever the blood issue has been, I speak healing. I destroy the curses off of them and I bless them with the blessings of Abraham. And Father, your blessings make them rich and you add no sorrow. And I cover this prayer in every couple with the blood of Jesus. And I seal this prayer in every couple with the eternal seal of the Holy Ghost. Amen, amen, amen. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I thank you, Father God, for giving every married couple their daily bread. 
Give them this day their daily bread and heal them because healing is the children's bread on repeat in the name of Jesus. I pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to God.